Hi, this is Charlie. Um, today I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna reformat my hard drive on my on my desktop. Um, it's running a bit slow, and I've I've always you know you always know that um, it's just better just to that's the best way to get your computer to get back to running pretty quick. So I go into my computer. You can see I have I have a second hard drive that I that I have on there. There's also a recovery drive on there, and then I have my main drive on there. So what I'm going to do right now, this is where I save a lot of my music, my pictures, and all that kind of stuff. I do have stuff on my normal C drive. So what I'm going to do before I start um, my my format process, I'm going to take a lot of those documents and just put on there. Um, I have enough space on there to, to do those things. Um, a lot of my folders, I'm going to take them and put on there my music uh, pictures and I have a crap basket on there also as I keep on my nonsense so after I do that I basically know that you know most of my stuff is that I that most of my important stuff is being saved I can go to my music folder, there's nothing much on there, my picture folder, I have that all in one spot already. So all these are just videos, nothing important. You just want to make sure that you save and back up all your important stuff. Okay, so now we have everything saved and backed up. Um, we're going to start the process. Uh, normally I rather use, I think I rather use the the copy of the Windows 7. I'm going to go ahead yeah. and pop in the Windows CD in there. It's a Windows 7 Ultimate. And we're going to look for the 64 bit version. That's the 32 and that's the 64. So we're going to pop in the 64 in there. Right here. So we're just going to click on there. Say yes. install like baby and we're gonna go through the reformatting process directly from the Windows 7 CD the good thing about using the Windows 7 CD is that you're not gonna come up with all and, and hopefully I don't miss no software after because I'm um, some of the software come built in from the factory but I'm willing to leave we're just having just plain Windows 7 that will cause the computer to run faster and better. Hopefully so. If I, if I miss any software, I can always go to Dell and do that. So you go online and look for updates. Um, do you want to get the latest update installation with all these updates? You might fail and blah, blah, blah. And let's go online and get the update. Searching for a bit of updates, updates to download, and it's doing that right now. Install the updates, and it's going to restart. So we're going to let it restart and do it stuff. Comes an agreement, all that good stuff, and you accept the license agreement, and you click yes. And they want to know if you want to upgrade to a new version of Windows and keep all your files and programs and stuff. And um, I'm like, no, let's do a new copy of a new copy of Windows. And you're gonna choose a drive to do it on. And you want to do it on on, on in your C drive. So your recovery drive is gonna stay pretty much intact. Your second hard drive is gonna stay okay. So you're just gonna do it on that main C drive. And they're going to tell you that this this um, partition there has a container, a previous version of Windows installation. That's the one that you're going to copy over. And you're going to lose your previous version of Windows, which is what you want to happen when you're reformatting your hard drive. So it's going to be copying files from Windows to Windows files. And it's going to copy and then install the features, install the updates and it's going to go into that process so let's just, and all you have to do from there is just click next next and until you the process is done so the process is going on pretty good 
um, Windows files has been copied it restart um, once and you can see this it got a little bigger um, so it's gonna it's almost at 75 percent right here and then it's gonna install the features install updates and then the installation is complete uh, hopefully that should take about it all it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes and um, it's been about, like, about five minutes so far into the process so it's you know it's it's really just a, like putting the whole new a whole new um, windows on there so that's all good there's something that we might have to do when um, the installation is complete um, so the old like an old portion of windows might stay on there so we might have to go in there and find a way to delete a lot of stuff so which might which will, which will give us more more space on there and more speed file so it's install features it's installing the updates the updates should go pretty quick oh here we go like i said and you can see that the bar the button is going pretty quick also so this is what so it's starting and that should be a fresh copy of windows right there A bit, you know, this is the first time I think after it's gonna set up a starting service, all the boot files are gonna be put into place, and everything like that. And then you're gonna come so the process is done right now. The file is downloaded, it's gonna restart the computer right now. So we're restarting. We're gonna go through the process of the next, I call it the next process. Get uh, in, type in what, what you're gonna name your computer. Normally I just put in my name. And put a password and number I don't want the password here on there and it's going to ask for a product key so we're going to put in the product key so the product key was put in and it accepted it and everything is good to go so we're gonna click on the Wi-Fi and put the license setting and we should be getting in there right now now log in the windows and everything should be everything is brand new so what you want to do right now is really start putting in your programs that you need to have in there um one of the things that i have to look at is check out my drives and see that all my drives are pretty much the things that in there should be in there in this one there you want to be you, you want to be more vigilant than this one here and you want to go into properties and check your disk space in there and if you find that it's it still look like there is a lot of stuff in there that's where we're going to go to go for the next process to go in and get rid of a lot of the old stuff sometimes even after you reformat your hard drive a lot of the old stuff still stay in there so we're gonna go in there and get rid of a bunch of the stuff but this is gonna be for next video for now this is what you been looking for um one, one of the things that I usually do anytime I am a big fan of Chrome and the first thing I normally do is to download Chrome because Chrome keep a record of all your stuff that you have on there so you see this this thing is pretty much quick and you only install your chrome and this is always what i always do that first thing i do download chrome set as default browser because a lot of the things that i do is in chrome my chrome is connected to my google drive and to my dropbox so a lot of the stuff that you would think that i would have on my computer is not really on my computer but it's in my chrome 
run this. And you can feel the quickness of the computer, even before the computer. And let's go into... Let's go into my control panel. Let's go into programs. Program and feature and we'll see there's no programs installed. So I'm starting from new right now. I'm mean, everything, my Java, my everything have to be reinstalled. But these things will be asked. The computer will ask you to install these things as time goes on. So I'm gonna install my Chrome, log into my, my Gmail account just like on your Android, and then all my stuff will come onto my Chrome browser. Because I am I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like addicted to Chrome. Everything is in everything is in cloud. This is Charlie. I hope this video helped. I'm out.